Welcome back into Wake Up America. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki was asked if the White House is confident the Federal Reserve can turn around inflation and avoid a recession in today's Psaki Dodge. I would note that Chairman Powell spoke to exactly that question today. So I would point you to his specific comments answering that question, where he did express confidence uh, in the ability to take the steps he announced and avoid that. I would. All right, there's Jen Psaki again, interviewing for jobs at CNN. Fact, fact, if she ends up uh, not being the White House press secretary, she could be a talking head on MSNBC or CNN. Fascinating. Um, all right, let's get some reaction from our powerhouse panel. Joining Allison and I from Project 21, National Advisory Board member and podcast host Christopher Arps is with us. We're also joined today by former Deputy Press Secretary under President Trump and Newsmax contributor Hogan Gidley. Hogan, is that, I mean, if I'm Jen Psaki and I'm in the briefing room, uh, would I be letting people know that I'm interviewing for jobs kind of on the DL with CNN and MSNBC? And then when I'm calling on reporters, I, personally, if I knew that was the case, I would kind of give favoritism to the reporters from CNN and an MSNBC. Is that is that bizarre? The, the answer is always I love my job and I serve at the pleasure of the president. That's right. the bottom line. You don't interview for other jobs. You don't leak that you're interviewing for other jobs. You don't talk about that. You don't show favoritism. You're supposed to be. Uh, honest with the American people, all of, uh, all of those things, Jen Psaki is not. Let's be very clear about that. But look, it is funny to me how she points to the Federal Reserve and says they, they can help stop inflation. They can stop inflation. Again, passing the buck onto another agency. Right. It's so funny that Joe Biden ran on all of these issues that he could fix everything, do everything, be everything to all people. And now all of a sudden when he's behind the Resolute desk, he can't do any of these things. And by the way, the president doesn't have the power to do any of these things. Then why did you run? Good point. Everyone knows these policies are affected, um, are affecting the American people in a negative way. They all know it's not happening to Joe Biden. It's happening because of Joe Biden. And Jen Psaki is another in a long line of talking heads from the administration that can't actually make heads or tails of it and absolutely has nowhere to go with her spin regardless of how many jobs she thinks yeah. she's going to get on the outside, and I'm sure she'll get them. Well, look, the White House now is going to TikTok stars to get their message out that it's Putin's fault. I mean, when you come to that point, I don't think you're in a good place when you've got to get, you know, 19, And these TikTok stars, you know, they're making a ton of money and yeah. they're on TikTok. I don't, you know, I'm not on TikTok. I know what it is, but they're like, there's this war. And because of Vladimir Putin, gas prices are high here. And it's like, you know, you're getting that, you're playing the house music right from the White House, but they don't know any better. <laughs> Um, and you know, I, Rob, Rob, I think Jen Psaki's also can it can be so brazen because we've seen for years the incestuous relationship between people that work, Democrats that work in yeah. the government, that end up working uh, for the media. George Stephanopoulos is one. You can name a myriad of others. Yeah. I, and by the way, it's not so it happens on both sides. I mean, look right there, center stage. Uh, Hogan Gidley, right? He was, you know, deputy press secretary, and, and now he's, he's chatting with us here on Newsmax. It happens. The, the point that I'm making is that no one knew when Hogan was at the White House that he was going to be coming on Newsmax, you know, two years later. Right. No right, one knew also, that. Rob, with Jen Psaki, everybody but, knows uh, it. But, Rob, you introduced me as someone who worked in the former administration, someone right. who worked on the campaign. No one says anything about George Stephanopoulos working for the exactly. Clintons. No one says right. that exactly. he gave money to the Clinton Foundation. No one reveals any of that. They try to pass it off as real news and uh, uh, you know unbiased uh, information. That's what's so insidious about it. And I'm telling Jump you, everything also. everything that they said yeah. was going to happen under Donald Trump is happening. But it's under Joe Biden. It's not happening under Donald Trump. And it might be because Joe Biden, he just say what you will, but sometimes it doesn't seem like he's there. Yesterday during his speech, he started talking about blackmail. I don't know if you caught this. Take a listen. I bet everybody knows somebody somewhere along the line that in an intimate relationship, what happened was the guy takes a revealing picture of his naked friend or whatever in a compromising position. And then literally, in a sense, blackmails or, or, or mortifies that person. Send it out. Put it online. Allison, I, 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 just, I did not see that yesterday. What? My God. It just it just seems it. like the cheese has totally slipped off the cracker with this guy. Whenever he goes off script, he's talking about taking pictures of naked men. I don't, I don't, oh, my God. I don't know. You can't even. And you wonder why up. Putin's invading Ukraine? Well, yeah. I mean, everybody's watching. They're watching him he speak. Maybe. 
Go you ahead, may be okay. concerned that there are some naked pictures of him skinny dipping in oh, front of Secret oh Service agents. Or his son. In the wow. past, when he actually did that. Or his son, of course, who has a laptop full of those naked pictures. He can do amazing yeah. things with M&Ms, um, Hunter Biden, absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to talk about just sort of the, the, the Putin. Hogan. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> now at Newsmax. Um, <laughs> Vladimir Putin yesterday, and I was talking about this with General Holt a moment ago and Mark Halperin. Um, Putin can't survive this, Kenny. Hogan. There's no way he survives this. There's no, he's gone so far killing kids, killing families, killing innocent people that there's no, okay, two weeks from now, six months from now, he's back a part of the global community. And I think that ultimately he gets overthrown in Russia because, the, listen, their stock market hasn't opened up for three weeks. Today marks 14 days that it hasn't opened up. There's no reintegration into the world economy. He's Kim Jong un now for the rest of his life if he survives. Uh, yeah, and I, and I don't know if he will. Look, I think that he's going to get it from both sides. If he pulls back right now, obviously um, the world's not going to like him. The people at home polling shows they don't like him either, despite how many people he has arrested or, or has killed. Um, you know, the people writ large aren't happy with Vladimir Putin. For the life of me, though, I can't figure out why this country is so self-righteous as, as it relates to Russia and dealings there, but yet continues to work with China. Uh, it continues to work with Iran. There's a reason we had peace deals no one thought possible in the Middle East. It's because we rallied around a common foe right. in a nuclear Iran. And now we have an administration that embraces a, Iran and a pathway to, for them to get a nuclear weapon. No wonder the Saudis aren't answering our calls. Mm -hmm. No wonder the Saudis are looking to no longer trade with the American dollar. That's the real problem. This administration's inconsistency and lack of understanding of the global global uh, economy and the global uh, they want to devalue uh, you know, friends and foes we, we face. Chris, I want you to take a listen to a soundbite. This uh, it, Joe Biden was asked yesterday by a reporter if he thinks Vladimir Putin is a war criminal. Uh, and then, Allison, I want to hear from you, too. Take a listen. All right, so strong language. Um, just about 30 seconds, Chris. Is the war criminal thing a distraction at this point? We know he's a war criminal. Well, I think it's just another example of, of, of uh, the president leading from behind. The world and leaders and public has been saying Putin is a war criminal for days and weeks now, and here's the president finally getting on board with that. I think it's an easy answer for him to uh, affirm that. Good point. Yeah. And, Allison, it's not like they're going to extradite no, Vladimir Putin nothing. and he's going to stand trial no. for war crimes. Never going to no, happen. No. Jen, Distraction. Jen Psaki said, yeah, you know, the State Department is investigating. Well, nothing's going to happen. We're not going to go in and arrest him. I'm, I'm just not. It's not. Yeah, good no. points. Um, Hogan Gilley, former White House Deputy Press Secretary, now joining us here on Newsmax this morning. Good to see you, my friend. We appreciate it. Christopher Arps, uh, in St. Louis, Missouri this morning. Great having you guys on. Thank you. Enjoy the discussion. Thank you.